Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'm gonna to show you how to clean out a washer stand pipe. This is a stand pipe right here. And you see it's got a P-trap uh, down in the bottom. And uh, stand pipes are used behind washers so that water doesn't backflow into the washer. I'm fortunate that this one has a no-hub coupler on it. So I'll be taking that off and I'll be using uh, one of two snakes. This snake is a quarter of an inch and this snake is three-eighths of an inch. But this one has an articulated head so this one might be able to get through there. I'm going to start out with a three-eighths snake. Here's the unit right here with a motor and here's the foot control right here. That's very handy. And I have some gloves ready to go. These are called Roto gloves. They're especially made for snaking drains. And these are some old leather gloves. The leather gloves would be fine for this. I definitely use the Roto gloves when I'm snaking out main lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take apart this P-trap. And there's water in here. You'll see there's water always sitting in here. And you normally put a bucket under, but I can't get a bucket under. So I have a dustpan. I have a sponge, and uh, let's see what let's see what happens. So, but I got, I have to take this P-trap off to clean it. There might be lint in here. That might be the problem. You know, it might might take care of it right away. You never know. Okay, there's the water right there. All right, we're doing pretty good. I'm going to take this outside. Okay, I took this outside. I dumped it out. And then I ran water through here. And then I, I ran water through here. And it came out here just fine. So this is not clogged up. That's not the problem. I didn't think it would be, but it's always good to check. Okay, so... Loosen up the no-hub coupler. Okay, so this come off, and uh, there is some stuff inside of here. Oh, look at that. Gee. So this pipe is quite dirty. Yeah, let's see. See if I can start with this. See how that crud? So we're just gonna get all. We're gonna start with getting all this stuff out of here. When you have low drains like this, a, a paint tray actually works pretty well sometimes. Woo! Look at that. Ooh wee! A lot of crud in there. Okay, I think we're ready for the snake. I think it's always a good idea to start with just manually cleaning out the drain as much as possible on these old houses. Look at all that crud. <laughs> That's going to affect your water flow. So first I'm going to use the 3 8 snake. It might not go through here. I have the quarter inch snake in backup. Basically, try to use the biggest one you can. And uh, so I'll try this one first. One thing you may be wondering about is why am I concerned about getting a 3 8 inch snake through a one and a half inch pipe? The reason is because a lot of times these older houses, this is a 1960 house, these older houses have constricted lines and there are turns that the snake will have to go through. One thing that is on my side here is I have a drop head auger and this type of head is made for getting through tight turns. I'm using my foot pedal here to start it out. We're going in clockwise direction and I've hit a tough area right here. It's about 12 inches in and just got through it. Uh, a little patience and you can get through areas like that, especially if you have a drop head auger that does help. So we're going in pretty smoothly now. And this is a fairly old snake. This snake, 
I believe it's about 15 years old now, and I really don't have any kinks in it. And it's because I'm very careful. You know, I don't ever force it. It's come along, it's come along quite nicely. I just keep feeding it in there. And uh, I'm really trying to clean out this washer and drain for, with the standpipe. I don't want any water winding up on the floor when the tenants say, okay, I just hit something there. I, just, I stopped it. You see, I just, I'm being kind of delicate with it. I don't want any kinks in my line. Uh, we're going again. It's just a little patience like that. It'll just do wonders. I was just saying that I don't want any water winding up on the floor when the tenants or new owners first use their washer. So we're going good right now. Uh, I'm probably quite a bit beyond what would be any problem for this particular drain. Oh, it looks like we hit a little tough spot here. And let's just go nice and easily. And okay, it's going again a little bit. So never force it. Keep it going, but never force it. There are certain tools that I will loan out, and there are plumbing snakes. All right, that's about all the snake I have. All right, doesn't want to come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on reverse. That's the only time you use reverse is when it's kind of stuck and you need to just get it out. coming out pretty well now. A lot of machines are automatic. Mine's about 32 years old and I, it may have been automatic back in the day. Okay, we got it out and then there's nothing. But that doesn't mean anything. Just because there's nothing on the auger head doesn't mean you haven't done a world of good. You may have pushed stuff back into the main line. In fact, we probably did, putting in 35 feet of line. Okay, so there's all the crud I got out of there. That's pretty good. The next step would be to put this back together. Okay, this is the P-trap, so this got to face downwards. This is a torque wrench. It's set to 60 inch pounds. It's made by Rigid. That's 60 inch pounds. Okay, this is on full full blast right here. Put this right in here like that. All right, see how it does. Okay, she's on full blast. We got new leaks. They leak tightened up well. And well we have a functioning standpipe now. There was just a lot of crud in there. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. By the way, this right here is called a hose grip cap. And it's a good idea. You know, it really grips whatever you put in there there you go so there you go that's a cleaned out washer standby pipe the washer hooks up to the standpipe like this and the top of the standpipe should be about 36 inches off the floor standpipes should be two inches in diameter if you're doing a home renovation 
or you're just a homeowner wanting to do your own maintenance and save money, this is a really good project to do because if that standpipe gets just a little bit clogged to the point where the water is going down slow, that's all it takes for water to end up on the floor when your washer starts quickly pumping water out of the washer and you need to keep that standpipe drain cleared. I'll put a link in my video description for the Fernco hose grabber. They're not mandatory, but they're really good to have. And I'll put a link for the rigid K40 drain cleaner. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.